السلام عليكم خوتي هواتتي اسمتي تريزا هذا لقمن مرحبا بكم في قناه ديالنا Hello everybody, welcome today. My name is Teresa, Lookman's behind the camera, and welcome to our channel. So today we're using red lentils, la uh, dis hamar, or um, dal, sometimes people know it as dal. We're using red lentils to make a really delicious, simple, easy, healthy uh, lentil flatbread. Okay, so this recipe, like I said, is very easy. All the ingredients you need are your red lentils, salt, and water. That's it. Um, tools you need is a nice blender, or I'm using a little mini prep, a small kind of Cuisinart style blender, and then a nice non-stick pan and a nice spatula. So what we'll do is we'll essentially uh, soak our lentils, we'll put them in a blender, blend everything up, pour it on our hot pan, and we'll have our nice flatbread. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, we take one cup of our red lentils, pour them in a bowl or something that you can soak them in. So I pour my one cup. Again, you can do less, you can do more, make it your own. I like to do a cup. So then we take our one cup of our red lentils and we'll go ahead and put some water in and let them soak. Okay, so we filled enough water to cover our lentils plus a little bit more. You'll see uh, over some time that the lentils absorb the water, so you might have to add more water. Um, I like to soak mine for about two hours. Uh, you can soak them overnight if that's easier for you, but all you need is about two hours. So we'll check back when they're ready to go. So it's been a couple hours and you see that our lentils have really grown. So this was one cup of raw lentils. Now it's, I don't know, two, three cups. So we wanna pour out this water, so give them a couple washes with some water to make sure the lentils are nice and clean. And then we'll begin to blend. Um, a little tip that I like, uh, I recently kind of figured this out, is if you just wanna make a couple flatbreads at a time, you don't necessarily wanna make a whole batch. Uh, keep a little glass jar full of the remaining lentils and water and put it in the fridge. Um, this will stay for like a week or so in there. And what happens is you just always have your lentils pre-soaked, ready to go whenever you want to make flatbread. So just a little tip. <laughs> now we're going to take our washed, clean, soaked lentils and throw them in our blender, our mini prep, whatever, whatever we have. And then I'm just going to do a little bit at a time. Great, so I'm just doing a little bit. You can do it in batches or you can do your full cup of lentils. Like I said, I'm gonna do mine in batches today. And also, um, I can always just put some water in the rest of these, throw them back in the fridge if I just want a couple flatbreads. So now what we do is make sure we see a nice even line of lentils so that we can add our water. You wanna pour enough water just to cover the lentils, or just at that same line. We don't wanna to add too little, we definitely don't wanna add too much, but as you can see, this line is right at the line of the lentils. So again, we didn't put too little, we didn't put too much. If you find when we make the actual flatbread that this is a little too thick of a, a flatbread for you, you can always add more water, thin it out, make it kind of like a tortilla for a quesadilla. Okay, so we wanna add a little pinch of salt, a little bit, maybe half teaspoon, and then we blend. Alrighty, so if you wanna come and see, it is the perfect consistency. Not too thin, it's not too thick. Do be sure to, to know that um, the ladis, the lentils, they harden pretty quickly. So I recommend throwing your stuff in the sink, getting water on it right away so that it doesn't stick. Makes for an easier cleanup. So let's go ahead and start making our flatbread. Okay, so we see our nice batter here. Now we have a really hot pan. We got our pan nice and hot. I'm gonna pour this on and then lift the pan and make my nice circle. So. As you see, this is the consistency here. And your batter should be thin enough to make a nice round circle. 
and you want to make sure you leave enough in the middle so that the the middle isn't too thin and then what you're going to do is set your pan down again keep the heat nice and hot and you're going to wait about a minute before we take the spatula and try to lift up the sides just a bit as you see as it's cooking sometimes little bubbles show up here in the middle that's exactly what we want um, we want to allow the middle to cook the ends to cook Again, we'll wait a little bit longer and then we'll get that spatula here. Okay, as she, as she look when see it, shoop. So we see those big bubbles. We see that it looks like it's beginning to cook. Now we just take our spatula, kind of like a crepe, Again, just pick up the sides just a bit. Don't worry about the middle. We're waiting for the middle to cook completely. Again, we're just getting a little bit of, oh, don't stab it like I did. <laughs> Oops. But after you lift the sides, let it continue to cook. Okay, so after you have your, your flatbread cooking, you lift it up the sides just a bit. Sometimes turn down the heat to a smaller flame so that it cooks the middle instead of just the outsides. We want even cooking. So you see now that the middle is cooking a bit and I really stabbed it over there. So that side is not happy with me. Mushy mushkil. We've made sure all sides are lifted. We can move it around, meaning the whole thing is cooked. So now we flip. Okay, great. So after only about a, a minute on the second side, you'll be good. So this is our second side. The first side ended up cooking for probably three or four minutes. So let's do our next. Salam, Nukman. See you. Go. Okay, I will need one. It's a slightly different technique. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I hope my technique is will be good. I'm sure it will. It will work, for sure. Whoa, Opa! <laughs> Yeah, I like to press it a little bit on the thick edges to make sure the thick parts cook. Zween, Hopi. Zween. So you do want to make sure that you are mixing your raw batter. Oop, like that. Okay, so this is no problem. It's still going to taste delicious. But you want to make sure that you're mixing this batter often because if it's sitting on the counter while you're cooking your other crepes, it'll start to get hard a little bit and that's what will happen. Again, it's no big deal, it's still gonna taste delicious, but be sure to keep mixing periodically. Okay, so the one cup of lentils, if you make all of them, will probably make about eight flatbreads. Roughly this size. <laughs> Ignore this funny shaped one. <laughs> anyway, with that, uh, feel free to add some cilantro, add some spices as you blend it, if you wanna add a little bit of flavor. But one of the things I love about these is they're very mild in flavor, so you can put anything and everything on them. Great, so with that, that's all we have for you guys today. We really hope that you enjoy this recipe. Give it a shot if you've never uh, made this type of thing before because it's delicious. Um, I will link the video that I got inspired from above here. But with that, thank you guys so much. Shukran bizef khoti khotati. Um, we're really excited to bring you new recipes every Thursday. Again, if you have any questions, um, please ask us in the comments below. If you have any general kitchen questions as well, give us a, a comment below and we will perhaps get back to you in our next recipe video. So if you haven't already, feel free to like, subscribe, click that little bell um, to get notified and we hope to see you next time. Shukran bizef, bislama. Again, little tip, you 
get it cooking, right? <laughs> Hobie, we're gonna have to redo this. I made this too thick. It's really too thick. 